Not all clinical trials are placebo-controlled trials or clinical trials that compare uh, an active therapy to no active therapy. Sometimes clinical trials are randomized and they compare uh, patient existing therapies and existing standard of care to the new experimental therapy which the investigators are, investigators are trying to understand. Is it better than the existing standard of care? But most of the time, these involve active therapies in both cases, not a placebo uh, therapy. Placebo therapies are typically used in situations where no standard of care exists. These are very uncommon in early stage clinical trials like phase one clinical trials or phase two clinical trials. Even in clinical trials that randomize patients uh, for, uh, to an active treatment or to a placebo, there can sometimes be crossover, meaning that if if the uh, if the patient is randomized to the placebo and uh, that uh, stops working, then the patient can get an active therapy. Sometimes a placebo may be added to an, an effective therapy. So, for example, if you're evaluating chemotherapy plus X versus chemotherapy plus a new treatment, uh, then uh, um, uh, patients may be getting uh, everybody will be getting chemotherapy, some patients will get the active treatment, and some people will get the placebo uh, in addition to the chemotherapy, but it doesn't mean that there is no therapy involved in that situation. The, the use of a placebo depends on the specific clinical trials. Most of the time they're not used in earlier stage trials. They may be used in advanced stage trials. It's always worth asking the question about whether there is active therapy involved as part of that trial as well and, what, what, and, and when is the placebo being used and for what purpose.